The effects of Tropical Storm Debbie may impact your 4th of July plans. Before you head for the beach, you need to know what you face when you get there. Our tr Chris Trinkman joins us now live from Pasa Grill with more on that. Chris? Well, Wendy, the good news is that all of the Bay Area beaches will be open for business during the holiday. The problem is there's a lot less real estate than before. Beach erosion will put the squeeze on if you're heading out to the coast on the 4th. Pass a grill is now half a grill as Tropical Storm Debbie has effectively split the beach in two. The sand's gone. <laughs> Laura Thomas and her family are regular visitors from out of state. They've never seen the sand so scarce. What did it look like last time you came? Well, the high water mark, the high tide mark is much higher up. There's less, less depth. Less, the, the beach is less wide than it used to be. Beachgoers cram their chairs along the sand's edge while others wade through the newly created tide pool. In addition to Pasa Grill, Fort DeSoto's North Beach is extremely narrow, as are parts of Sunset Beach in the southern part of Treasure Island, Sunshine Beach just south of Johns Pass, parts of Northern Sand Key, and Honeymoon Island State Park. Parks affected by the storm include the swimming areas of Lithia Springs Park and Ben T. Davis Park. A lot of people are intrigued by the tide pool and setting up cornhole boards out there as opposed to right in front. So it's a little new. It's a novelty thing, I think. Nicolette Conran runs the Paradise Grill right on the beach. She says the lack of sand is actually driving customers off the sand into her restaurant. That's what we're hoping for. We're definitely, um, you know, hoping that the changes are going to be a positive influence instead of a negative influence. Kathy Cusick of Pennsylvania says Debbie isn't ruining her vacation. She's seen beaches much more crowded. We go to the beaches in New Jersey and sometimes on a nice, nice weekend, people can be on top of each other. But I mean, this is beautiful here. Not bad. Normally, Paso Grill during the day had a huge body of water. It's that tide pool that's created because of what happened during Tropical Storm Devi. Meanwhile, this just in, we got late word that Pasco County has been declared a disaster area by Governor Rick Scott, so they'll be getting federal aid. We are still awaiting word whether aid will come from the federal government in the form of more sand here in Pinellas County to help with the beach erosion. We're live in Paso Grill. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.